Hello everyone and welcome back to Omnom Omnivore here in Spore with our, uh, well, I guess I should say trader playthrough with the Kimqua who are currently getting ready to be completely broke uh, space adventurers looking for space treasure and ancient artifacts in order to snag up and sell to the highest bidder because we can't make any money. We are so ridiculously poor guys. We are just the itty bitty little Kimqua of the stars and we are being pushed around by some of the uh, bigger empires who are actually bordering our galactic territory and it's been a little bit of a pain I can't believe we are struggling so bad finally finally I claim one of the pink spice planets and the next thing you know we just end up with not even being able to terraform it and every other pink spice planet I had my paws on ends up getting traded away from us oh and speaking of being traded away it actually looks like uh, this empire over here is almost ready for us to do a trade with them to try to take over their planet. It's a very nice planet. I don't know if I've actually showed you guys what this planet looks like. <gasps> and there might be some galactic treasure. You see those little yellow markings? That is the bleep of potential artifacts. And we could really use any artifacts we can find in order to gather them up and sell them for moolah. But let's see if it's actually artifacts or if it's actually going to be um, like a planet sculpting tool. And it's a planet sculpting tool. All right, well, that's okay, because I do like the planet sculpting tools. So let's go ahead and snag that. Very nice. The Tentacle Canyon. Wonderful. Well, we might go ahead and use the Tentacle Canyon. We've got a nice big plateau right here to be able to show off such a beautiful terraforming tool. One of my favorite. Ah! There's eyeballs on this planet! What kind of horrible place is this that it has eyeball bushes? Oh, I hate the eyeball bushes. I hate the eyeball trees. Forget the, the like, plateau. You know what? Let's line our this puppy up and let's wipe out that entire species of eyeball bush. Get out of here, you guys. You're creepy, okay? Ugh, it didn't really do anything. But it did make a really nice, like, big tentacle swipe right over here. So that's what the tentacle tool does. I really love the terraforming tools. I know I say it again and again but it's true except for the unfortunate occasion where we run into eyeball bushes i happen to love terraforming in space it's one of my favorite things well not the terraforming but like the complete and utter transformation of being able to take something like this an empty husk of an untapped world all of this potential not even touched i mean this place not a single plant, not a single weed, not even a single eyeball bush on the surface. We don't have any animals like running around it and being able to take this, this untapped potential and terraforming it into a T3 luscious, gorgeous planet that can then become a colony and a site for so many of our, our future homes for our empire. I love that about Space Stage and I also absolutely adore the just immensity of space you guys i mean come on look at this look at this all of this all of this could be ours to explore that is why Oh, you even get special music. That's so cool. That is why I love Space Stage so much. But there are a few drawbacks to Space Stage. One of which meaning that you need to have a ton of money. That's really where now that we are highly evolved and no longer needing to root around in our ancient past where we were completely focused on just the, the literal meat and bones of survival by eating meat, bones, and fruit. Uh, now we are mostly just concerned with commerce and concerned with being able to get our... Ooh, this is a very nice background over here. I'm getting able to get our feathers or beaks, I should say, since we have no claws, arms, hands, or other grasping abilities as the Kimqua. But now that we are concerned with getting our beaks on just money, we're going to stay a strong straight line in this trader route. And we're just going to see where things go. And we're going to see if we can trade away planets and trade uh, men's just to snag snag plants that we have trade routes with and the steampunk empire here does actually have like a semi-decent planet i don't know if we would really want it like this isn't really a trade system i'm super eager for but at this point i'm kind of desperate and i'll take anything and i do like the asteroid belt around this planetary system i think it's really nice so let's wiggle down in there 
And I will talk to you guys about creature stage in just a second. And we'll just take a little bit of a peek. I, I for some reason remember that this planet was one I really, really wanted for some reason. There was something here and I think it was the wildlife in those tragically lost four episodes. I got really excited about it. I wanted to share it with you guys. That's why we decided to try to set up a trade route with this planet. What are you? <gasps> it's Cali Cats, you guys. Dear. It's the Cali Cats. I know it says Dear Cat. It's supposed to be the Cali Cats, but we found the Cali Cats again. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, they've really showed up a lot. We might have to play as the Leo play at some point in the future and make more space cats for the space cattery just so we have more to discover on this side of the galaxy as well. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, who's a fierce little Cali Cat? Are you a fierce little Cali Cat? Yeah, somebody sassy. The sassiest one in the garden, that's who. All right, so I don't think that that's actually why I wanted this planet. Like, I really don't. I think there's another creature actually right over here. Is that a creature or is that a mushroom? Or is that just a rock? Let's see. All right, what are you? I think it's just a bush. So I don't know why I started a trade route with this planet. Maybe it was just an accident, but we have a trade route with them. And let's see, anything else? Oh, I'm not even scanning everything. So I, I'm not even remembering what's here. All right, well, let's give it a little zapadoo. Miss Zoop, anything else? Ah. I could have sworn there was something really special. Is it you guys? What about you? Hey, you're running away from me, eh? What are you? Hold still for a second. A walking flower! Okay, I didn't see this guy either. Look at him tucked down. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's like they're trying to hide and just like tuck themselves down. Come on guys, how cool is it to be able to discover these aliens like this? But I know a lot of you guys, your favorite stage is creature stage. So I've mentioned it a few times in the past, but I don't think I've explained it very well. Once we start to get settled and I feel a little bit less eager just to explore space as a archeologist searching for artifacts to sell, then we will be spending time in the uh, creature stages of Spore and we'll kind of settle into doing creature stage with Spore instead and we'll work on um like like if we found this walking flower we would say we're researching scientists as the Kim Kwa and we would send them over to the research uh facilities and we would go ahead and we would play we would start a new game and play as the walking flower starting in creature stage and we would pretend that while we play as the walking flower we're actually like tracking the gps of the walking flower alien and seeing how they live and what kind of lifestyle they have and after we play as them in creature stage for a little while and maybe evolve and change them a little bit then we'll go back to being space explorers with the Kim Kwa and we might rotate between the Leo Plea and the Kim Kwa and the Fina but we'll have to see all right so there's one last creature here I actually have <gasps> the dime rop you're kind of scary not gonna not gonna lie not gonna lie so diamonds are a girl's best friend? Well, that must mean that the dime rop will be a girl's best friend for life, as it's the sweetest little thing in the world. Of course, if you do not give it enough attention, then a little jealous streak might arise. Well, why did I want this planet? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But the trade is uh, almost complete, so we'll have to think about that. Okay, Steampunk Empire. The Grand Council has, deci has decided to focus on a new set of economic priorities. In view of this fact, perhaps you would care to purchase our star system, Aphagus? Well, you know, I just reviewed it and I'm beginning to feel a little dubious and I literally don't even have the smallest bit of money to offer them. I'm just going to say goodbye for now. I feel kind of badly. We do have a special ability I was thinking about using where you instantly take over systems where you, we have established trade routes. You know what? Let's go ahead and use it. Let's go ahead and use it. Yeah, I really kind of don't want that planet though. But the other thing is, I feel like I have to take it because, because well, and then I'll be close to hostile territory. Who knows what these guys wanted? They probably were going to demand tribute, so we're just going to ignore them anyway. But it would be helpful to have another another functional planet, even if I don't really know why I would want that. So let's try out the instant cash infusion because I don't have a trade route set up with anyone else and it might offend this group to turn their trade route down. And we definitely don't want that because we're a little desperate. So cash infusion. Boom. Whoa. Boom. 
Yar! Whoa! Whoa! Cool! What? Oh my gosh, am I just literally... I'm raining cash down on their head. Look at those spore bucks. Spore bucks coming down from the sky. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. They aren't even producing anything on this planet. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we can probably fix this. At the very least, we might have another productive planet, and I'm pretty desperate for that right now. That's so cool. So I literally just threw a bunch of money at them, and it's probably going to take forever to recharge this. Is that going to be like an instant takeover? Instantly takeover systems where you have established trade routes. Greetings. Hey, did I take you over? Yeah? What? Sorry, I was so quiet. I was just like, hey, like, I thought I was supposed to instantly take over this system. I thought I was supposed to, but it was, I wanted... What? Okay, maybe I did that wrong, but I was really hoping that was just gonna like save me a ton of money So maybe what it did instead is it actually just makes it so that it like zips up the um, The trade route progress Okay, maybe I messed that up and I should have done it a little bit differently Let's start a new trade route with a different area. So we're gonna go look for money. In fact, let's go back to home world really quickly I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit saucy about that because I really, I really, really thought that it would, it would work. <laughs> so I was hoping that was going to be something dramatic where we're just like, well, bam, and now we've taken over this system. So I'm going to have to look that up and see what the heck I did wrong. But anyway, let's go ahead. Oh, steampunks. No, I don't want to trade with the steampunks. I forgot they took that spot over. We want to go to the Mai Mai Empire with their gigantic jaws. And we're going to go ahead. Hello, my friends. I'm glad they love our red spice right now. Oh, gosh. Even if they're terrifying when they, when they praise us. It's hilarious how terrifying they are. And we're going to go ahead and purchase... We're gonna purchase one of their colony and credit packs. So I now have two colony and credit packs just out of water. And we're gonna go look for some new planets. We can possibly, ooh, Merchant One. Yay, we're upgrading. Jeez, I'm so like sassy that we didn't even get to take over that whole planet. Oh well. All right, so no new things we can buy apparently. Oh wait, what's this? What's this? It has like a little takeover spotty thingy doodle, right? Right? Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> Does that mean I took you over? Greetings? Ah! All right, well, I'm gonna have to look up what the heck that means because I think I think it just means I can take it over But it doesn't it, I'm just I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. That's the bottom line All right, anyway now that we're still semi broke. Let's go look for some <gasps> green there's a green planet there! Okay, what about up here? Okay, we've got to move quick because now that we're starting to explore... Okay, those are blues. You know what? I will take a blue. Ooh, there's treasure over there. Treasure over here. I will take a blue spice planet because we don't have a blue spice planet yet. And we don't have a foothold on this side of the galaxy. And I'm getting a little desperate <laughs> to be able to start making money. Especially now that my cash infusion didn't work. I'm so sad about that. <gasps> Look at its treasure! All right, it's like literally just a bag of cash on the ground. I'll take that kind of space cash infusion. Or is this like a fossil? It's a fossil. You guys, this is a fossil. This is so cool. All right, we got the big scary thing for the collection of 10 rare fossils. So you know what? I'm going to smack a colony down over here. Oh, wait, I almost smacked a colony down on top of this innocent little herd of somethings. Hello? Oh, you guys are a little concerning. It's the poles! Apparently someone has seeded a lot of poles in this part of the uh, the galaxy. So let's go ahead. We'll put a colony and credit pack. Sorry, poles. I think you're actually in like one of the few good spots. Oh, it needs to overlap with uh, spices. That's right. All right, we'll put it right here. But let's just claim the system, guys, because I'm kind of desperate. And I think I actually have... Yeah, look, I actually have an ice storm, so we might be able to make this a T2 and get lots of blue spice. I will take blue spice, please. All right, hello. 
Hello. Greetings, Captain. Your colony on planet Dan Dandies is up and running. It's a pleasure to speak to you directly. Oh, and even though I keep forgetting that as a like bird species, uh, that's also a bee species. Probably all of the main leaders would be females because of the like way that the queen bee is the leader of the hive. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell the fossilized remains with a big scary thing to them. But I gave him a male voice is what I was saying. All right. Actually, we assume that it was a big scary thing. I mean, the head itself is huge. So one would assume the rest of it was pretty big. Can you imagine if it had this great huge head in a wee tiny body? That would be hilarious. The other creatures would be all like, hey, Mr. Big Head, why such a big head? Oh man, too funny. Anyway, it makes anthropologists feel better if they think they found something big and scary. So let's just go with that one. All right. So I actually want to keep the big scary thing. I kind of want to start collecting the fossils. Uh, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and sell it back to ourselves. Um, even though I would love to keep it. Well, it, I wonder if it will be there when I come back. Like, greetings. Hey. Nope. All right. I, you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with thinking that the big scary thing uh, is just like permanently in a museum here. So maybe we'll give this colony some museum sort of appearance. And let's also stabilize the terror square while we're here. Apparently the Pauls are the only things living here. So we'll also put down, let's put down, this doesn't really look like a planet good for herbivore, like uh, the dove herbivore. Um, oh, and I don't have very much space. My gosh, I need to expand my cargo. All right, let's do the female wireless paw, like this guy, this one right here. Female wireless comba, which is actually really cool looking. Yeah, look at that. Look at how pretty you are. All right, so she'll come down here and hopefully, because we have a lot of the male variety on our home planet, so I imagine we would want to keep one species that reminds us of home. And then we'll put the three-headed earth dragon, which is still really cool, and actually I think will match the colors of this place very well. And it does! Look at that! All right, it's got a whole herd of Pauls to be able to feast on right away. And we have stabilized the terror score here. And we also have some trees and some plants that aren't familiar to here. So let's go ahead and make an ice storm. We're gonna cool this planet off even more. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I hope I don't flood the city. That might be, okay, good, they're safe over here. But we're cooling the planet off really rapidly. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. Isn't that awesome? I love terraforming. It is the coolest thing ever. And if we can get this tiny little dot to scooch a little more to the left as the planet cools. Look at those. The dragons have already bred wonderfully. They're next to another herd of Pauls. But if we can just cool it off a tiny smidgen pinch. Come on. Come on, ice thing. Yes. Yes. Quick. Move quickly. Drop those plants. Medium plant. Go. There we go, small plant, go! Beautiful, beautiful blossom trees, go! You don't match here whatsoever. Ah, where's my medium plant? Hurry! There we go, and we have now stabilized the Terra score. Fantastic. Our very first T2 colony. I'm so proud. Oh, it's such a relief. And this place actually might give us something good because it's got blue spice. All right, let's leave some mega horses behind too because we need some more herbivores. And we'll leave the gulls. And then we'll have to go and fetch a carnivore to finish stabilizing the terror score at a later point. But for now, we're going to set up our new colony. Finally, you guys. There may be hope yet. Because we finally, finally, finally have a T2 colony with a semi-decent rare spice. And we are also going to try... Oh, look, dinosaur fossil. That's perfect. That's perfect. Let's use it. We're going to use this one as the housing because we can always remember we found the big scary thing fossil here. I was going to say I want to make it kind of like a museum and an archaeologist sort of site. Oh, here's a sphinx. You know what? Let's go all for it. I'm excited. There's a sphinx. We have the main city hall, which is going to be the home hive. And then we'll make the factory. Like, here's a farm and foundry. Desert dunes, desert blade. This one looks pretty good. Uh, let's do... Should I do desert blade? I kind of like this. Let's go with this one. That's kind of like a little... A little desert spot like this. Because it looks like we're doing excavations here, yeah? That's fantastic. All right. And I think that we'll say the sphinxes might actually be, um, might actually be examples of 
some of the ancient architecture that we maybe found either here or on a nearby planet. Oh my gosh, and the fossil is kind of turned. I thought it was gonna be flat on the ground, but it's not. So that's kind of interesting. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. I, I'm flexible. We're just gonna have a bunch of giant dinosaur fossils <laughs> propped up uh, like, like a display for the whole city. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. All right, we need another factory right there because we do need to produce a lot of blue spice from this planet, but we can't get any more blue spice up and going until we raise the terror score. <gasps> yes, 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 all right. Small health, mini auto blaster and mini pulse we can now buy because, oh, and the planet is turning green. What? I love it when you have unexpected terraforming twists like that. <gasps> that's so cool. Look at it. Ah, oh, that's so cool. And you have a female, Columbia just hanging out in the open meadow right out here. That is so cool. There's a couple more of them it Looks like they're hanging out with a dove and they're just sleeping. Oh my gosh. That's so awesome And then we've got some more Hanging out over here a big flock of them flying and we have the green spreading and I love that I really truly love that. All right guys we have successfully terraformed our very first blue spice planet and we found some of our very first artifacts. So I'm pretty proud about that. We'll have to come back and make sure that these little guys will be able to really haul in that blue spice and maybe give us an edge so we can finally start making some moolah. But let's just take a really, 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 really quick peek at what's on this planet really fast. They are missing carnivores. Ooh, wow. Wow, look at the beaches on this planet. <gasps> and they have beautiful trees. I really love their mushroom flowery looking trees. Wow. Wow, this place is beautiful. And it's another blue spice planet. We might just go ahead and like maybe consider smacking down another colony here sometime soon because this is really lovely. I don't see any of the creatures on it just yet, but we'll do some more exploring. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I see some of them. Oh, they're the hoggy creatures. Well, this is a perfect planet for them. This is really a beautiful planet. Ah, that's what I love about this. Being able to discover one world after another. It's just fantastic. But we'll do some more exploring and we will start rapid firing. Oh, yes, we have a blue spice. Let's go get it. It takes forever to fly across the system, but we snagged it. But we will start rapid fire exploring all over the place around here because guys, we need to start finding the best places to put down some of our colonies before we continue to get elbowed out of the good space. And I am definitely going to look up what the heck happened with our cash infusion because I really wanted to automatically take over that planet. Ah, so we'll do more research there and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.